You know, we've seen a boom of celebrities addicted to prescription pills, from Heath Ledger to Michael Jackson. We know prescription meds are just as dangerous, if not more than illegal drugs. Adderall, commonly used to treat ADHD, can have effects similar to cocaine, especially when mixed with booze. Um, Howard Samuels, addiction specialist, founder and CEO of the Hills Treatment Center, uh, the last time Brooke went into rehab was just last May, and she allegedly checked in with issues with uh, crack cocaine. I have no independent confirmation of that, but my gosh, it's very common for people, oh, I'm going to stop using the illegal drugs, so I'm going to use legal drugs to give me the same kind of high. Well, uh, first of all, uh, you don't go into treatment because you're taking your prescription of Adderall as prescribed, Jane. I mean, uh, if, if you believe that, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. OK, uh, so that statement is an absolute joke. Uh, she went into treatment because she's out of control and she's emotionally unstable. And, you know, she's obviously got issues with prescription pills, with alcohol, cocaine, whatever it is. It doesn't make a difference. What the real tragedy is here is that it doesn't make a difference how many times you go to treatment. You got to take it seriously. She doesn't want to take it seriously. And you have to take a look at the kids being taken away from her. She is a mother. Child services needs to be involved in this case ASAP. Uh, Howard Samuels, there is a two-tiered system of justice in this country. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts. Do you think now that uh, Brooks Butt should be thrown in the clink uh, because she may have violated probation? Well, G uh, Jane, absolutely. I mean, I think that people have to hit a bottom. They have to hit an emotional bottom. Now, the only things, the only things that do that are institutions, jail, coming close to death, having your kids taken away. You know, you, you, uh, it has to be intense emotional pain. And the problem with these, with these women is that they don't take the recovery seriously. They have money. People keep on enabling them. They keep on being given money and people around them, you know, tell them how great they are. They manipulate the system. And they're only hurting themselves in doing that. I mean, I know the only way that I got sober was, you know, being a convicted felon, being threatened with four years of prison. I mean, horrible stuff I had to go through to hit an emotional, painful bottom. And that's what has to happen to these both of these women. And hopefully it happens soon, Jane, before one of them or both of them die because of this disease. And, you know, it just shows you addiction knows no boundaries.